Cedra is a local charity. We work and are based in Exeter and we work with disabled people aged 5 through to 70 plus in all sorts of ways that make sense for them. We had the opportunity of uh, taking part in the Get Connected project so that we could take what we were doing in, in terms of doing paper-based person-centred plans and make them a more tangible, real tool for service users to make real changes in their lives. I think if a person is saying to a camera, I want this to be different, and people are seeing that, it's far more real and has much more impact than a, a sentence on a piece of paper or a picture on a piece of paper. I've begun to use elements of multimedia advocacy in quite a few areas of my work, um, not only in the multimedia advocacy plans, but also in other areas of my work, such as recording and monitoring outcomes and um, in reviews. Um, I find that using multimedia um, creates a really tangible way to get the message across, um, especially for those with limited communication. How has multimedia advocacy training impacted in your life? Happy. Mm. This made you happy? Easy. It's made things easier for you? Yes. Hello. Lovely. Through the process of working with Barry to do his multimedia plan, um, I found that from a personal point of view, I connected with Barry in a way that I hadn't um, been able to before. I'd known him for a very long time, um, getting on for 10 years, um, but with given the real um, tools and time for Barry to communicate, I was able to find out lots of new things about him. And uh, he was empowered to uh, make a plan and make real changes about his life. Before we found a lot of people being quite passive in how their lives were being led. Um, people would make decisions on their behalf and tell them that they had option A or option B when actually they wanted option C. To give people time to reflect on what they wanted and how they wanted to choose their lives and being able to put that on film made a real difference. And um, we've seen some of those differences in the short time that we've been doing the multimedia advocacy project now um, come to fruition where people have moved out of somewhere that's not suitable, moved into better accommodation and are choosing to live with different people. So it's been a really powerful tool. Barry, what would be your um, message for other people thinking about having a multimedia advocacy plan? C. C. Are you saying try it and see? Yes. Thanks, Barry.